campers. I know you've been waiting for a tour of our little guy Mini Max. It's a 2019. It's white with red trim and the name is Firefly. Let's go see it. Okay, so heading in. I'm just going to show you this as quick as possible. So we did change the door for the bathroom to open from the left, which we love much better. And um, I have these set of mirrors that I put on here and I'll talk about those. They stick right on, but they're trimmed in wood. They're a pretty good mirror for, as a mirror goes, it's lightweight for an RV. Um, we did do the sink. Um, we did a quartz, a nice mocha brown. It's a quartz composite. We love it. It's like 14 by 14. I'm going to leave the links to everything down below the video. Um, that is a copper insert that I bought separately. It came in a pack of two from Amazon because, as you know, when you buy a sink, it doesn't have the uh, basket. We bought the copper faucet, which is movable. Um, it has a great um, little sprayer, too. I'll put it on. The pressure is great. Um, it has a sprayer that's more, um, you know, it's smaller. And then it goes back. We love it. It gives a little touch of class to our camper. Um, we did a countertop with a Formica that we bought at Lowe's, our Home Depot. I'll put the link to that also. We bought it in a sheet um, and we edged it. So we put this right over the existing, not so favorable marble that started to pull away from our sink. Um, and we didn't want it to get any worse, so we decided to um, do this on top. Um, it's a little hanger. I do macrame and stuff, so I wanted something to hang herbs and flowers or plants. We did decide to do a peel and stick tile. This is by Stick Goo, and it's a pretty gold butterscotch color. I love it, and it gives it that pop of color, and it goes with the, um, the coloring and this from Micah. Um, as far as the cubbies go, I always leave rolled towels there for the kitchen and um, I do felt flowers. So I do that. We did this spices here and my husband has a piece of wood that goes in the front and it actually holds us all in place while we travel. Um, let's see. We did a hanger here. Um, I'm still not done with that. I'm putting black knobs on that and that hangs a lot of stuff. <laughs> Um, so here's one of the mods that we did. Our radio is being repaired because the Bluetooth doesn't work. Um, we changed out that, again, marble top for a little bit longer, probably about three inches longer. And we put a latch on the side and it opens up. Voila! So now I can store my toaster, my smoothie, bullet, our little compact um, vacuum, and this goes back down and latches. And so in here you still have access to things, but now it's not all a pile of mess. So we have um, one here and then we can, I usually stuff my picture with my different utensils in that corner there okay we did do the flooring uh, we love this flooring we got this at Home Depot I can link the link to that as well um, just to people that haven't seen this camper um, the fridge is amazing and look at how much it holds and it has a freezer and Holds a lot of stuff and I can still put stuff forward in that um, and then of course the bottom of the freezer holds look at you can fill it right to the top there's beer under there <laughs> um, as far as our bathroom goes the only mod we did in here was um, we changed the door and yeah I have a barrel in here and actually that's it oh this is our little medicine chest so this is like a nice mesh um, and it hangs off the top. I tape it down for when we're traveling and didn't take that off, but. All right, so we did do a two bed conversion as I had shown some pictures before, we love it. This 
makes it longer for people that are taller to lay down. We are 5'10", both of us, but someone 6'2 could now lay here. Um, and it's almost perfect. You could probably put a little cushion there um, to lay down. Um, I did decide to do wallpaper and it's a full grass paper, which we really like. It lightens up the space. These are the mirrors I got. They stick on. Um, they haven't moved. They're very lightweight. They're like paper weight, but they're edged in, I would say balsa wood, like a very light wood. And it just gives a little light to the space. So what else did we do? Oh, yes. The most important thing. <laughs> All right. So we made something we wanted. Uh, well, we looked at a lagoon table. Let me just move all my my cuties. We wanted a lagoon table, but then we looked at how would we attach it underneath. It would be cumbersome putting it together, taking it down, and all that. So with this, all we do is we put the light down here. This is an art light. It's really cool. And if we didn't have these decorations on here, it would just sit like like this. So my husband built it out of maple to match everything else. And um, this is the base of the pullout slats, okay? So all he did was he combined them together with like a slat underneath so we didn't have to ruin them. They're all there. And then we put some cool hinges on it. And look at that. We have a pullout table that comes up it's 22 and a half inches long. And if I was to sit here, it goes right over my legs, if you can see. So there's still clearance there. Um, we thought about extending it even more and having a other fold out, but all we have to do to pull this out even farther in the middle of the bedding, which it's right now, it's about almost half way out. Um, all we would have to do is pull this all out um, a little bit further, which we do. We can. And we can pull it out, see, even further. So now it's further out. And this is a good amount of space for dinner. Um, and as you can see, it's a good size. But now what we have is we have an 8-inch deep box that we can store our iPads and other things in there. And you could put a bio in there uh, if you so choose. And we're thinking of putting a charging station in there as well and hook it up inside. So, and then at night when we go to bed, uh, we, we have this down during the day. But, um, you know, if you don't have your bedding in the way, like I do, um, it just pushes back down. And there you have it. So other than that, that's it for our mods that right now we are planning on doing um, some window treatments. Um, I'm actually going to make some roller shades. So that'll be really cool. And I'll show that when it's all done. So thanks for watching. Happy camping.